Okay, we're going to show a quick video of how to design your garage arcade in Google SketchUp 7. Um, this is being done mainly thanks to Gozer for modeling a lot of uh, the various arcade games that are available and that many of us have and uh, making them dimension correct so we can design our arcade before we even so much as step foot in the room. Anyhow, so this is uh, what SketchUp is, and just to cover real quick, I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, what you're seeing here is kind of a uh, aspect, uh, perspective, I should say. Um, you have a person standing just to kind of show, give you an idea of what you're looking at. This green axis is the ground plane, meaning, you know, your surface of the ground. Um, the red axis is showing uh, also the ground. And the uh, blue axis is showing, I guess, your y-axis, you could call it. That would be showing you height. So this is kind of just giving you a uh, an example of what you're looking at here. But a um, couple quick real tips here. Um, your various tools are across the top here and very easy to use. You have a line tool, rectangle tool, circle tool, and arc tool. Um, various editing stuff like uh, measuring tape for measuring two points even after you make your design uh, paint bucket to paint your walls you paint your floors you know make colors whatever um, these are manipulation tools you could push or pull something uh, move or copy rotate and uh, offset tool is a little interesting because uh, when you select an object you can select a certain subset of that object so if you have a rectangle that's 10 foot by 10 foot I guess that'd be a square um, you can say I want everything but six inches of that to manipulate and we'll show you how that works in a second um, last but not least your uh, perspective tools at the top here um, orbit lets you kind of move around based on dragging the screen around so as you can see I'm moving around the screen I'm going under above to the left, to the right, whatever. Um, the hand tool kind of moves you around within the world. And then uh, the magnifying or the zoom tool kind of zooms you in or out of the world. So for now, we're going to keep it really simple and just kind of show a basic view and uh, take it from there. Um, real fast, and again, this is just a primer to get you started with this. And then from there, it's up to you to design how you want. We're going to assume that our uh, garage arcade is pretty big. We're going to say it's 10 foot by 20 foot. So um, we're going to start with a uh, an outside rectangle just to kind of get started. So I chose the rectangle tool. and I'm going to draw a rectangle on the ground. Um, note that it kind of bumps around a little bit. You could kind of tell the difference. Um, in this case, the rectangle is following the blue axis, which means I'm creating it straight up in the air. And now by moving it this way, the rectangle is being created on the ground uh, follow, between the green and the red axis. So that's what I want to do. It doesn't matter how big of a rectangle or size of shape you create. You can always modify it once you create it. So I made my rectangle. Down here in the corner, you see the dimensions of that rectangle. And right now it's 8 foot, 1 8 inches by 39 foot. So I'm actually going to say 10 foot, comma, 20 foot. Enter. And... There's my 10 foot by 20 foot rectangle. So at this point, I have my, I guess, garage pad, you could call it. So what do I do with this? A um, couple neat things about this is the, uh, we're going to look at the push-pull tool. So if I select push-pull and I put my mouse over top of the rectangle, you see it turns gray. And from here, I could drag it up or down. So I can make a giant block out of it, or I could just, you know, make a little pad out of it. So for now... Uh, we're going to leave this in the ground for a second, and I'll explain why. Uh, let me just undo this to make sure we're on the ground. Um, before I push pull it, I'm going to use the offset tool to select everything but about 8 inches of this. So on the offset, or I'm, I'm going to put the offset tool on the rectangle. Just click once, and then you could move it in or out, as you could see. And down in the lower right corner, it's telling you how much you're moving in or out. So I'm just going to type 8 inches and hit enter, and now I selected... Um, the rectangle minus 8 inches. So you have a uh, perimeter on the outside here. The nice thing is I can actually push or pull this outside perimeter or the inside part. So I'm going to go to back to the push or pull tool. Pull the outside perimeter up. Do, again, it doesn't matter how much you, you do it. You just give it a direction. And then type in really what you want. In this case, I'll say 7 feet. And there's my... Uh, my room with a uh, basically made out of eight inch cinder block if you want to call it that um, so now for the sake of having a doorway we're, and I'll show you this is another trick I'm going to take a rectangle tool 
Um, again, when you put your cursor, you can go on the edge here to make sure you're at the bottom. And I'll draw a door, and I'll say, uh, let's say, 3 foot by, I guess, 6 foot. Enter. There's my doorway. And um, the cool thing is, is I could push-pull this rectangle here and push it all the way through the wall. So now I have a doorway. And if I use my orbit tool to look to the door, you could see that it truly is a doorway. I could actually um, look inside the doorway. Real easy. Again, this is a very easy, simple to use program. So now I have my uh, arcade at its basic form and I want to throw a couple games in here. How do I do that? So under File, there's an option called 3D Warehouse and then Get Models. And basically this is kind of like a shopping mall. You can just go in here and type in what you're looking for and it will literally find what you're looking for. So I'm just going to type in Miss Pac-Man and there's obviously a bunch of different ones in here. Um, you can look around and see if I can find the one by Gozer. And uh, there it is right here. And again, you don't have to use Gozer's ones. I'm just using his as an example since he's a fellow KLV guy. Um, I'm going to say download model. And it says, do you want to load this directly into your Google SketchUp? I'm going to say yes. It's going to download Miss Pac. Then there's my Miss Pack that I could literally put into my arcade. And by default, it gives you the move tool. So I'd actually take this and move it around the room and position it where I want it to be. You could even put it halfway through a wall. You could put it up in the air or whatever. Um, notice right now it's saying on face. So that means that I'm actually sitting on the floor with it. Sometimes the perspectives can get a little skewed when you're moving things around. So I'm going to click once. And now my Miss Pack is in my garage arcade on the floor. Um, I'm still in the move tool, which is this little four arrow thing here. Um, the first question you may be asked is, well, what if I want it on this back wall and it's facing the wrong direction? So as you can see, it has like a wire frame around it, which basically takes the shape, you know, the Miss Pack game and turns it into a uh, refrigerator rectangle shape for easier dealing with or easier moving around. So if, if I put my uh, move tool on top of this and I go over one of these little plus signs here, you can see it kind of gives me a uh, a protractor, I guess a compass you might, might want to say. And you can see that there's a line appears here. What that allows me to do is I could take this, if I hold down my mouse key, and use it to turn it around. And it will actually lock in the different positions. So it will actually lock in the various uh, 90 degree, you know, 45 degree positions. But for now I'm going to take it here. And again, as long as I'm not on those arrows, I could just click on this and I could put it up against the wall. Again, keep in mind this is using real dimensions. So, you know, if the game is not really going to be up against the wall and you want it four or five inches away, you want to put it four or five inches away from the wall, just how it'll be in real life. Um, quick thing about that is, um, let's say you want to measure, let's say you want to make a mark four or five inches away from the wall so you can line your games up to it. If you use this tape measure tool, which is the one that looks like a tape measure, I'm going to click on this bottom edge of this wall here and kind of drag the tape measure out. Again, it doesn't matter how far I'm dragging it. I could type in my real dimensions. So I'm going to say, uh, let's make it 5 inches. So I'm going to type in 5 inches, press enter. And now I have a little guide mark, they call them, 5 inches away from the wall on the floor. So uh, again, I can go back to the move tool. And this is still selected. You can still see the little wireframe around it. I'm going to use click on this bottom right corner on the back of the uh, Miss Pack and then drag it out to my guideline and now you can see it's his own line which means now my Miss Pack is truly four or five inches away from the wall. And another use of the measuring tape if I kind of let's get the uh, view above the room here. Zoom in a little bit. And uh, if I take my measure tape and measure from the back edge of the game to the wall, sometimes it's a little tough. Notice the green line means that I'm using a proper axis. So it's actually 90 degrees to the surface of the ground. Uh, it shows that the game is truly 5 inches from the ground. And if I don't want to make a guideline or anything, I could just hit escape to get rid of that. Um, the uh, Last but not least, this, this first button here, this arrow, is a select tool. So like anything else, if I click off of the game, um, it's no longer going to be selected, the wireframe goes away. And if I uh, orbit around, I could truly see that there's my game 
sitting in the uh, arcade. And just as a quick example, we'll do one more, say 3D Warehouse. Um, let's do... Um, um, I guess we'll do Commando. And again, maybe I'll type in Commando Arcade, make it a little easier here. There's Commando. Again, it's by Gozer. I'm just going to hit... You, you can click on this link here to get more details about this. Uh, let me cancel this. So you can go in here. You could at least see what it looks like. But then, uh, so I could say download this. Yes, I want to download it into my uh, model here. And again, it says on face at the bottom, so I'm on the ground and placing my game in here. So, and there it is. You know, if I want to move this around, I can move it left or right. Um, again, using these little plus signs and compass, I could turn this 90 degrees. So if I want this back to back, or back to side, I guess you'd say with my pack, you could set it up. You can look around and see what kind of gaps you're going to have in your games. Maybe see how much space you have. Um, and then you can even zoom out to see your room. Uh, less, you know, and again, you can get a good perspective. You could actually look through the door, and there's what your arcade might look like. Um, real quick, one last thing. I'm going to show you the paint bucket tool. So I picked paint bucket, and uh, one of the cool things is it takes you to this folder called materials. You can literally build your arcade. So, you know, since this is a garage arcade, I'm going to say, um, uh, uh, let's say stone. And, um, no, I don't want stone. Let's say bricks and cladding. Stucco. So I chose the stucco material. And just like anything else, like even Microsoft Paint, I'm going to uh, paint the outside of my wall stucco. Then on the inside, um, let's see here. I thought there was a block. There it is. That's falling concrete. So I'm going to say concrete block since this is a garage. And doink, doink, doink. And now you can see the inside of my garage is block. And of course, it wouldn't be right if we didn't have something for the floor. So, let's throw some uh, Berber carpeting on the floor here. So, here's our garage arcade, all set up and ready to go. Um, notice in some cases when you move around, it, it simplifies the look for a second. It's just kind of computing out what it's going to look like. Um, again, this is truly to the T when it comes to measurements, so be as detailed as you can when you set this up and it'll work out perfectly for you. Um, and uh, hopefully this uh, gives you a good intro as to building your arcade with SketchUp.